What up, Jay? Yo, man. That's Monday. A, that's a badass sweatshirt, Jay. Oh, yeah, I fuck with this, dude. This was a gift. <laughs> That's one of them Jones who looking cool with the lounge and you got your, your hands yeah. in a little and I don't even know what that compartment is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they always got the fucking air on somewhere. Exactly. Alright. Vasil Lomachenko. Yeah. Jermaine Ortiz. It's a much better fight than some people expected. I knew Jermaine Ortiz can go. Yeah. You did too. What was your thoughts on it? It was a good fight, but we know like to be honest, they're not gonna give the edge to Ortiz. He's younger, he up and coming. And um, he would have had to, he would have had to like knock Lomachenko down a couple times to get the win, or knock him out. Um, Lomachenko looked, he looked, he looked good, but not, of course, not the old Lomachenko. At 34 years old, you can tell he's slowing down, and his decision making and his reflexes isn't the same anymore. But he, he good enough to keep putting on good performances and, and edging out guys. The problem is, you know, what I mean, when you get him in there with a, more of a top tier guy, he's gonna have a lot more trouble. Um, because he is slowing down, things ain't the same no more. Ortiz, I was impressed with him not being trapped so easy and um, him being able to uh, keep up with the footwork and keep the distance at times when he needed to. And he wasn't there for every little thing Lomachenko was giving him, but he was adjusting well, you know what I mean? So it made for a great fight. I had it a draw myself because I gave the first half of the fight to Ortiz and the second half to Lomachenko, you know what I mean? Winning majority of the rounds, but I came up with a draw. Were you surprised at the scorecards? Because one judge had it 117-111. Yeah, I was surprised, but I wasn't. I wasn't surprised because I know how the game go, and I know why they do those things, but I was surprised because it was like, damn, how could you not have it a close fight? They was, they was, you know, they was going shot for shot. You know what I mean? And like I said, the kid Ortiz was being smart. So I just didn't understand why they do that, but I know why they do that, but it's fucked up. <laughs> But he didn't do nothing but raise his stock. Ortiz is definitely going to be in the run for a title because with him doing that good with Lomachenko, using his boxing ability, he's going to become super confident now because he put on a great show. You think top, top rank goes back to the drawing board with him, gives him one or two turkeys to build his name back up? They, they, and they definitely going to do that. But then, but you got to also peak. After the fight, Lomachenko won like a little belt. He gave the belt to Ortiz. You know what I mean? You know, I don't think a lot of people peep that, but he handed the belt to Ortiz to say basically you won. Or 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 to say, you know what I mean, I respect you so much that I'm gonna give you this title. And and that's also how you know titles don't really mean much in boxing. But you know what I mean, Lomachenko respected him that much to hand him that, that title to be like, you did your thing. I, I think he really didn't think he won the fight because it was that close. Is that a prime example of fans not really, really watching boxing? Yeah. Per se? Because Jermaine Ortiz, decorated amateur, undefeated, just got finished beating Jamel Herron. Yeah. Beat uh, Nair Albright. Yeah. So he has some wins under his belt. Good but wins. there's dudes that I actually thought that he was a can because they didn't recognize his name. Yeah, but that's but that's to be expected because a lot of people don't pay attention to to the fighters who who aren't being talked about all the time. They usually what they do is they go with the popular fighters and then they and they repeat the things they hear to sound like they know what they talk about. But then when it comes to guys like Ortiz, first thing they call him is a can, but he's nowhere near a can. But now, but now because of his showing, we're gonna be seeing a lot more of Jermaine Ortiz for sure. Do fans misconstrue promotion with ability? Yeah, they do. All the time because they they figure if you, if we're not hearing about you, then you're not that good. It's not that. It's just that the promotion companies are always constantly looking for stars, what you call a star or somebody who has star quality. So these are the guys that's being put in your face. But there's plenty of fighters you may never hear about who can beat these guys or, or come close to beating them or who can just hang with them. You know what I mean? So... That's, that's what, you know what I mean, it's happening in the game and it's fucking up the game because they're causing you to pick and choose and, and they don't even realize what they're looking at. You know what I mean? They're not even supporting their local fighters. Some guys are supporting their local fighters, but what they're doing is they're supporting their local favorites because that guy may hit the mainstream one day. So they so they trying to make it like they follow the boxing. But there's plenty of fighters out here that they're not paying attention to that's definitely great fighters.